good day everyone and welcome back to godly motivation today i want to wish you a happy new year and i want to really just thank you for tuning in to godly motivation once again the new year can often bring a mixed bag of emotions memories and hurts for so many people many of us are going through things that we have not even spoken of the events of this past year likely created an unprecedented time of unrest anxiety worry depression pain and even trauma for a lot of people while some persons may have just had the best year ever and look forward to an even greater one as we move forward some of us have been just pulled through one deep struggle after the other so the fresh calendar year brings desperate hope for things to be better when we choose to pray at the beginning of the new year or even just a brand new day it doesn't always bring immediate change whenever a new prayer is finished whenever a new day has begun or even when the clock strikes midnight but it begins the opening of our hearts to god's words of peace joy hope and wisdom whether you've just walked through the greatest year of your entire life or you are incredibly glad to see it finally over the truth is that you are not alone you are never alone scripture is filled with prayers of both women and men who have reached out to god for a wonderful fresh start prayer is the main source of connection to the one who created you and the one who wants you to experience bountiful blessings and the promises that he has for you in the future my message to you today is that good things are on the way lamentations 3 and verse 25 says the lord is good to those who wait confidently for him to those who seek him diligently Sometimes when you have had a long series of painful or disappointing things that happen to you, it's easy to get to a point where you really just expect more of this to continue in the future. But that is a trick that the enemy uses to steal your joy because if you are expecting something bad to happen, this makes it almost impossible to live a victorious life. So instead of expecting the worst, choose to expect the best decide in your quiet time with god that you are going to try and hope for good things to happen and when you do this opens the door to god's tremendous plan for your life today i believe that this is the year of favor you may have received god's favor in the past but life happens things sometimes pop up when we least expect it but my friends if the negative is drowning out what god has spoken over you that means you need fresh favor spoken over your life if you receive fresh favor and positive declarations over your life it has the power to unleash god's favor i declare this will be a year of god's favor for you and your family with healthy relationships with good friendships with new financial breakthroughs with healing that you have been praying for with new open doors with new jobs with new relationships forming in your family with people letting go of things and treating you better i declare that new doors are going to open with promotion with success with creativity with favor with new blessings with a new joy that comes to your doorstep every morning i declare that you are blessed with good health with good vitality with tremendous energy i declare freedom from every bad habit i declare that you will recover everything that was stolen from you i declare that from this day forward you will experience a new sense of freedom i declare that from this day forward you will experience a new sense of healing a new sense of strength a new sense of wisdom 
become a new sense of fulfillment, a new sense of happiness, a new sense of peace. I declare that you are blessed in your going out and in your coming in. I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and you will be the head and not the tail of everything that you put your hands to. Philippians 4 and verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Not some things, but all things. So I declare that this year you will be able to do everything that you put before God and kneel before him and declare over it that it will prosper and be a success even when you cannot see the finishing line. Thank you, Lord, for all of your blessings and your favor all over my life in this coming year. I thank you for the persons hearing my voice today. You know their situations and what they are going through. You know their private prayers. You know the joy. You know the peace. You know the struggle that they have been through. I thank you that you are opening doors that no one can shut for putting them in the right place and bringing the right people into their lives. I thank you for taking us where we could not go on our own and I declare that blessings will follow us all the days of this year and all the days of our lives so we can dwell in the house of the Lord and even tell people about your goodness so they can also experience your mighty favor. Lord, we thank you that you make all things new. We thank you for all that you have allowed into our lives this past year, the good along with the hard things which have reminded us how much we need you and how much we need to rely on your presence to fill us every single day. We pray for your spirit to lead us each step of this new year, each step of this new day, each step of this new month as we wake up each day and go about our business. We ask that you will guide our decisions. We ask that you will turn our hearts deeply to desire you above all else. The Bible says if we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all other things will be added unto us. We ask you to help us to remember this scripture and see you show up in our prayers and our solutions as we trust you and wait on you. We ask that you will open doors that need to be opened and close the ones that definitely need to be shut tight. We ask that you would help us to release our grip on the things which you have said no to on the things where you have said not yet, or the things where you have told us to wait. We ask you for patience. We ask you for guidance. We ask you to help us to pursue you first above every dream and every desire that you have put within our hearts. We ask you, Lord, for your wisdom. We ask you for your strength. And we ask you for the power to be consistently present when it comes to you. We pray that you would make us strong and courageous for the road, for the year, for the journey ahead. Give us the ability beyond what we are able to feel. Let your gifts flow freely through us so that you would be honored by our lives, by our achievements, by the things that we can help other people with and therefore help them to be drawn to you. We pray that you will keep us far from the snares, the traps, and the clutches of the enemy and temptation. That you would whisper in our ear when we need to run, and whisper in our heart when we need to stand firm, relax, and hold our ground. We pray for your protection over our families. We ask for your hand to cover us and to keep us distanced from the enemy's intent of evil, that you would be a barrier that surrounds us, that you will be a fence around us when we jump in our cars and we get moving on this brand new day. We thank you for everything that you have done and we ask you for discernment and insight beyond our years, beyond our knowledge, to understand your will to hear your voice and to know your ways. We pray this prayer this morning and we ask you to keep our feet 
firm on solid ground. Help us to be consistent and help us to be faithful. Give us supernatural endurance to stay the course and do not swerve to the left or to the right or to be easily distracted by other things that would seek to pull us away from walking close with you. Forgive us, Lord, for letting fear and worry control our minds and for allowing pride and selfishness to wreak havoc over our lives. We ask that you make all things new in our hearts, in our minds, in our lives for this coming year. We pray for your refreshment over us and keep your words of truth planted firm within us. Help us to keep focused on what is pure, what is right, and give us the power to be obedient to your word. When the enemy reminds us where we have been, we trust that your voice speaks louder and stronger as you remind us that we are safe with you and your purposes and plans will not fail. We ask that you will be our defense, our guide, and our flashlight whenever we want to move forward, to keep our way clear and to remove the obstacles and the pitfalls that may await us. We ask that you provide for our needs, continue to bless us with grace and favor, continue to cover us under your blood and help our plans that we make to prosper. In Jesus name we pray, Amen. If you have made it this far in this video, I simply ask you for a small favor and that's to just hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so already. We are continuing to grow and we ask for your continued support. So thanks again for tuning in to Godly Motivation. We trust that you received something from this prayer. Go ahead and share it with someone who could use a positive word today and we ask that you have yourself a blessed and a wonderful rest of your day.